Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, September 1st, 2017, and we are thrilled to have in studio Surf Curse. Go ahead and go in your first song, guys. going to ask you so you rolled up in this blue van with the window busted out and it's <laughs> it belongs to a band from chicago yes knee yeah. high so i'm a little confused at where everybody is based and like how this came about the window or how we got here both i mean well the every everything that's wrong with the van is my fault let's, let's hear about that <laughs> he's first. a gentle giant i'm a gentle giant he just hits things uh, very hard i just closed the door really hard and went <laughs> Really? That's what um, happened? Yeah, it's so funny because we were watching the, we were like, got here early and we we're like, we got to prepare. We should watch some other audio tree sessions. And literally the first one we watch is Knee Highs and the van just pulls up in like mint it's condition. Perfect. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. And we have like this busted window and I like hit a tree and. Oh no. Not like, a, not bad. Not bad. We're going to get the window it. fixed tomorrow. <laughs> if Knee High is watching. Fear but, not, your van yeah. is safe. Thank you, Nehi. Thank you so Thank much, you, Nehi. Nehi. I'm so sorry. sorry. Thank you. <laughs> so sorry. Um, but yeah, we flew here from Los Angeles uh, to go on tour with La 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 La, Lily's band, um, who's playing with us today. And we borrowed uh, Nehi's van, but uh, me and Jacob live in Los Angeles now. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I and live here. Oh, yeah, that's right. You said you lived in Pilsen, so that's pretty cool. An artsy neighborhood, I hear. Lots of stuff going on. Um, so did you two live in Reno before this? Yeah, Reno and uh, Las Vegas. Yeah. We're, we're Nevada boys for sure. Yeah. That's really awesome. Was it inspiring at all to live around mountainous areas? Or what did you like about living in Reno? Um, yeah, what? totally. I mean, it's more just like the people for me. That was very inspiring. Yeah, the people are really great. It's cheap for the most part. And um, it's full of good times. You know, there's all ages music venues. There's... Uh, the best like burrito places, the best pizza That's places, awesome. best thrifting. Record stores. Best thrifting, nice. Oh, really good check thrifting. It out. You can but you can walk. You're like, oh, I want to find this like one thing. Like I I was like, I need to find gummo on VHS, and it took me like five <laughs> hours, but I eventually found it. You know. Yes. Yeah. And we're we're originally from Las Vegas. We were born and raised there. Um, we lived there for 18 years, and then moved up to Reno, and that's when we started the band. But uh, just because there's there's like no all ages spaces and. Las Vegas to really do anything like I had bands in high school and just played 
really bad coffee shops and battle of the bands and stuff oh, and just God. got like booed and heckled every time. So it was nice living in a place with like an all ages community. To Definitely. Do like that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, you've got a couple songs for us. Yes, we let's, do. Let's <laughs> take it away then.
Watching Audio Tree Live. We're here rocking out with Surf Curse, and um, Nick has just rocked out so hard his headphones fell off. So <laughs> felt good. Felt That's good. good. Very cathartic. I was a little scared. Yeah, me too. <laughs> um, so That's good. Yeah, you can. You can. So yeah. I'm just thrilled. when they're off, it's not as good. You know. <laughs> yeah, I'm thrilled to be in this room with you guys. I feel very far away from you. Um, I, I feel wish so I was close to you. Oh, thanks. I wish I was coming to Sub T. You have two shows in the same venue on the same night. Yes. For those of us in Chicago or those of us interested, why did that happen? Why two shows in one Jacob. night, guys? I mean, <laughs> I have to know. I mean, the first one sold it's out Jacob's so fast. Fun. We're like, well, let's just do a second one. And we're like, okay. And uh, every time we've come here, uh, it's usually been at bars. It's been like, I, what, it, the bottle, it, yeah, bo we've like just twenty one like, plus, and, yeah, we've, and like we haven't had that many people come out to those shows, or it would be like a fair amount. And um, as soon as we made it, like all ages, like everyone started coming out, and yeah, yeah we got two shows uh, sold out, and we're really happy about it. You know, f like finally getting that uh, Chicago love we've always wanted. Yeah, <laughs> so. yeah. all ages shows are really awesome, and it's kind of like you don't know what de what demographic you're really reaching until you open it up to that. Um, oh totally. Yeah. Our our demographic is definitely not twenty one plus. No. Every twenty one plus show we play is a little weird, but <laughs> we try to do all ages. Um not only because of that, but just because of like when we were growing up in Vegas, it's like a twenty one plus thing, so we never really got to see a lot of bands coming through. Yeah. So when you're neglected that it's like, you know, you just want to give back. You know, you want you want kids to feel you know, fortunate and, like, lucky to be able to experience, like, the artists that they love. And we try to, like, we want to do that for them so bad. Yeah. You know, we know, it sucks missing out on something, you know, or being left out. I interviewed, like, my favorite bands outside of bars, like, living in Vegas. Wow, that's and amazing. And I never went inside to see them. Oh, no. Shows, yeah. yeah, exactly. So, like, yeah. Did you stand out the window and just, like, oh, I love They you. gave me, they oh. both gave me free merch, and then they're like, all right, later. Oh, no, yeah, that does <laughs> that, that's suck. Just, that's just what happens, you know, like, uh, when, you, when you don't have, like, those special all-ages spaces. Why do you think that age group gravitates towards your music? Just, like, very, the music that we make is very, like, youthful, I guess, and, like, mm -hmm. deals with, like, a lot of maybe emotions. emotions, yeah. Which you're feeling a lot at those ages. Yeah. <laughs> I think that, like, when people turn a certain age, they kind of lose that or, like, get jaded or something, you know, and the kids, like, really still have that energy or their life about them. Um, so I think it's really cool to see that at our shows, like, um, that sort of energy that's still alive in a lot of people. Yeah. Um, no one loves <laughs> music more than a teenager. I mean, when I was uh, when I was a teenager, I, I listened to the Hush sound, and I I remember every single lyric to oh, this yeah. day. And I haven't listened to that in a while, but I don't know, Lily. Any thoughts on um, on on the on the music modern American love? teenager? Yes, <laughs> the complex American teenager. Yeah, I mean, I think you're right about the energy thing. They just have that energy. Yeah, I mean, it's and you the way that you perform in particular is like super crazy. You, yeah. Energy wise, it's like all like it's like you're again. truly yes. like running a marathon and like yeah. throwing up at the same time. And it's like, <laughs> and they love that, they have that, yeah. But also, I was gonna say, on the way on the drive from Detroit last night, 
we listened to Enema of the State, the Blink-182 album. Mm -hmm. That was the first CD Nick ever had. (laughs) And he knew every single word. Yes, yes. That's how he stays awake. That's how I stay awake. Yeah, we were driving like three in the morning and I was on two coffees just <laughs> screaming enema of the state. Yeah. You have to sing it all the way through just to like maintain your focus. Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. Yes. He's in the zone whenever he does. Like, you put on blank. Man. I literally like just blank out for an hour. You blank out like, for an hour. Or like 35 minutes, however long it is. And I'm just like wake up and I'm like, wow, that was great. Yeah. Very Solid cathartic. pun, by the way. I heard that. Good. I'm glad. <laughs> you like I don't want out? our viewers to miss he said he any blinked puns. out, and I was like, he blinks uh, out. <laughs> Get it? Sick. Now's a good time Sick. to move on, I think. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, yeah we got two in a row. Right. Let's do it.
you're watching Audio Tree Live. So, guys, I recently watched the Heathers, or is it Heathers? Just I think it's just Heathers. It's just Heathers. I watched it for the um, amazing fashion. I did not know what else I was signing up for. Oh yeah, great fashion. <laughs> great fashion. Um, very surreal movie. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand a lot of it, and I'm wondering. Um, I read that you guys were inspired by that, or maybe lyrics or songs. Yeah, totally. What aspects of that movie did you uh, take? I think like. Any movie, really, we just, like, write... Me and Jacob just have always grown up watching a ton of movies, and yeah. they are, like, our biggest source of inspiration. So whenever we watch something, we're just so, like, moved or in such a zone that that sort of transfers over to the song. But um, a lot of the times, it's, like, things that are written about our lives or, like, things that are happening with us that just go through the lens of that movie or that feeling. Um, so, like, that one was, like, writing lyrics about someone else, and then I watched that movie when I was sick, and then it just became about that movie. Yeah, sort of a way to channel, like, your feelings or what you're dealing with yeah, through other I characters. I think, mm -hmm. like, yeah, movies themselves are just, like, escapism for that anyways, so they kind of make life more magical, and, yeah. like, that's the same thing that we're trying to do with music and to take that mode or energy and put it into a song. Yeah, definitely. Or find other ways to, like, explain things that maybe you don't know how to explain. Yeah, totally. Um, I also read, I don't remember what article it was, but it says that, Nick, you used to hide more behind pop culture references, and then in your solo project, which is now called Current Joy, you, like, yeah. stopped using as much. Is there, um, is that still the case? Uh, I try to stop using, like, pop culture references and just write about life, but it, it kind of seeps in anyways. Yeah. It's, like, <laughs> It's hard. who you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, just like, I don't know, like I'll, we'll watch something and just the movies impact you so much. It kind of like gets in, like I'll watch something and it'll just stick with me for like a week. So if I'm trying to do something creative, it's kind of oh, like a, sh a waterfall over me or something. Absolutely. Um, so speaking of film and all and visuals and stuff, I watched your video for Christine F and it was very creepy. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. Very, really entertaining <laughs> and well done. I was wondering who came up with all of these ideas. Um, did you have a director, or was it more like you guys? Yeah, he, he directed it mostly. Yeah, like we came up with the idea, and like uh, our friends stumble upon tapes, shot the whole thing, and we just got a bunch of friends together and would like hash out things as we went, and then just sat editing for like eighteen hours or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that last something part, crazy just, like, like, like that, clip, yeah. clip, clip. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like. Uh, um, how do we get the idea for it? I don't know. Just Maybe like, describe, I mean, like, the plot in general I, for yeah. the people that haven't seen it. Well, cults are just, like, I mean, we're, like, since we're fans of movies and stuff, we definitely like cult kind of movies. Yeah. Like, uh, cult classic kind of movies. So we wanted to make something that was, like, uh, you know, like a reference to, to that. And making, like, a cult kind of music video was, yeah. like... Mm -hmm. And you play Very the main character, right? I guess, yeah. I think, <laughs> the person, I think it's yeah. like, I think we're both co-starring You're that. sort of the victim that gets I am the swept victim. away. Yeah, yeah. I mean, cults are a very terrifying thing. You yeah. know, like, it's yeah. just like, people prey on, you know, people who are very vulnerable and they don't know who to go to about things and... Like, yeah, we just want to make I some... Think, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, they can be dressed up as, like, a bunch of people in white clothing or it mm -hmm. could just be, like, a music scene or, like a group, you know, cults are kind of everywhere. It's it's short for culture. So any, like, culture you have, you can slip into a cult pretty easily. So, like, the reference of making it, like, about our music or something, like, stepping into the cult of our music <laughs> is, like, also kind of a scary thing. Oh, or, like, the cult of L.A.'s music scene, which can be very terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> our, our album release, there was these kids who were messaging us, like, we're going to dress up. just like the music oh video. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, your little followers, and we're like, that's weird. So, so we're kind of playing with that. <laughs> I read a comment on YouTube that was like, I'd join their cult any day. Yeah, <laughs> it's totally. like, ah, I don't know if that's and, what they're going for, but yeah. maybe. No, I mean, like, it's kind of like playing with that idea, and, like, people do totally go crazy over music or, like, something that's idolized and... Um, it's yeah. just like a fun way to play with that, but I guess it's more real than we uh, expected. <laughs> that's kind of funny. I think it's just because people really want to be included in something, and if oh, you have absolutely. music that's really like relatable and inviting, there are going to be the super fans that like 
take everything literally, sort of like, I guess, in religion. Man, that's, I think that's a really cool concept that you did. And you were a great actor. Thank you. <laughs> like, Jacob's so guy good in the on band? camera. Yeah. Like, every photo. That's hard. It's yeah. hard to do. I just, like, am a just sweaty mess. <laughs> <laughs> the sweat cult. Jacob, sweat cult like, all band of band. the photos from our shows, Jacob's, like, a model. And <laughs> I'm, like, I usually wear, like, running shorts and I'm sweating and, like, ah. <laughs> And just by default? Yeah. I mean, Already you're the sweating. hardest working man I'm in the rock sex, and roll sex right appeal. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob's the sex appeal. I'm the, <laughs> I'm running. I'm just on a treadmill in the background. That's amazing. So I'm going to talk a little bit about your shows coming up, just in case people are interested. They've got two sold out, sorry, shows at um, Sub T tonight in Chicago. And then Ooh. you've got an October Southwest tour coming up. You're yeah. going to yes. hit Mexico City. Yes. yes. And it's looking really exciting. So Very check out surfcurse.bandcamp.com for yes. all the info. Do it now. Actually, don't do it now because... Um, <laughs> We got, we, another, we got one more song. We got one more song for you. <laughs> Lily's gone. She just dipped. Oh, yeah. give it up for everyone. Yeah. We should get another Lily. round of applause. People in the studio, can we get Lily. another awkward clap, please? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Lily West. Lily West. They know Check out her band, La 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 La. They're amazing. We've just been on tour with them for like two weeks, and it was great. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for having us. Watching Audio Tree Live with awesome band Surf Curse. Thanks for sharing your music with us. I really enjoyed it. I'm sure we all did too. I want to say thanks to the awesome people in the studio, the sound engineers. Thanks to the camera and lighting crew for making it all look awesome. You can support Surf Curse by downloading or streaming the session in a few weeks when it comes out. And from all of us here at Audio Tree Live, thank you for watching. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody.